Welcome to JotForm. Today, I'll take you through how to get started with JotForm apps, our free no-code app builder for anyone. When creating your app, you have a few options. If you have a specific form you'd like to use, you can hover over, choose the more option, then create an app. You can also choose multiple forms and then up at the top where it says create a new app. Or if you'd like to start from scratch, up at the very top under my forms, you're going to choose my apps. From here, we're going to choose the create app button in the top left corner, and we can either start from scratch, which is a blank slate, or we can choose from over 210 pre-made templates from our template gallery. From here, we can take a scroll and see if something jumps out to us. We can utilize the search function at the top, or we can utilize the categories to find one to suit us best. For this, let's go ahead and look at the booking apps. We'll go ahead and choose this one. At a quick glance, we can tell down here in the bottom left-hand corner that this app has two pages, home page and feedback. When we take a scroll down, we can see a few options that automatically will be coming with this template. But again, we can make this our own. Over on the left-hand side, we have the add element function, and we have some basic elements like heading, paragraph, link, PDF document, image, and button. If you want to take your app up to the next level, we even have video, maps, social follow, and testimonials. Then towards the bottom, we also have data elements like table, report, and scent box, and then page elements such as a divider and a spacer. Up at the top, we also have numerous widgets for you to choose from to add into your app. Since we're using a template, that means that we don't already have a form linked. So if we'd like to add a form, we're going to choose the form under basic app elements. We'll choose a form that we would like to add. And we can see it populated here at the bottom. Anytime an element is selected, you have these options on the right, edit form, settings, and delete. And on the left, we have the dots that'll allow you to move the element wherever you need it. Another easy way to add an app element is to choose the element and drag it in exactly where you'd like it to be. If you want specific things to be required, you can utilize the settings option and mark it as required. Up in the top right, the app designer really allows us to make this app our own. We can change the background, the colors, even the font family. Also in the app designer, we have the app layout, which will allow you to change the entire app at once. So right now we're on the default layout. If we wanted to have everything shrinked with no icons, we can choose this layout. We can also scroll down and choose if we want it left aligned or maybe even a large element. I think for now we'll go back up and use the default. Next, let's head up to settings. From here, we have a few options. We can allow our users to continue their forms later. We can encourage them to add our app to their home screen, and we can also include a progress bar. On the left-hand side, we can edit the app name and the icon. Let's take a look at some other icons. Or we can also utilize our own image by uploading our own file. Last, let's head up to publish. From here, we can copy the link or we can download a QR code that makes it really easy for our users to scan and go straight to our app. But let's open in a new tab and see what this looks like on a desktop. Here it is asking if we'd like for us to add it to our home screen. And this is our app. We can take a scroll down, see that very first page. Then up in the top corner, we can choose the second page, the feedback. Then you can see the form that we added and our social follow.